the biggest untruth is that somehow trophy hunting makes a contribution to conservation. It does not. Hunting, to be perfectly frank, is all about money, money and money. That head on that wall, and anyone that gets in the way of that, you know, run the risk and take your chances. No, let's not call it sport hunting. Let's, not, let's call it what it is. It's murder. Merle Harrison is the unsung hero who is the catalyst for this truth coming to light. When I started doing my research and looking at these serial killers that all abused animals, school shooters, all these kids that are shooting up the school, you know, sh went out and abused or shot or killed animals first. Hi, I'm Lynn Santa. I'm the co-producer of Land of the Free in the Shadows, and I would like to offer my heartfelt gratitude to Cannes World Film Festival, Remember the Future, for honoring us with a, an award from your August festival, recognizing the importance of the message in our short documentary. Caroline Bomber, the founder of this festival, you have demonstrated such professionalism, style, vision, and genuine heart in the design of these festivals. We are honored and proud to be a part of it. I must say this film never would have happened without the incredible support of Larry Corman, the president of AKA Luxury Residences, and his wider circle of family and friends, as well as the star power of my dear friends, Priscilla Presley and Tippi Hedren, and the heartfelt narration of Stargate's Cliff Simon, who so tragically died in a freak accident shortly after this film was produced. Cliff, this film is your legacy. And also the heavyweights from both London and Washington DC in Sir Roger Gale MP and the 2019 Albert Schweitzer Award recipient, John Thompson, and so many others, including the incredible Mazanzi Youth Choir of Soweto, and Maritz Loss, who composed the score for our film and the title track from Richard Loring's sensational African Footprint. And I have to mention our tireless and dedicated post-production producer, David Bartlett, and my die-hard, dedicated, visionary co-producer and director of this film, James Ganea. And one woman who absolutely must not be forgotten, the former and formidable Chief Inspector of the Zimbabwe SPCA, Merrill Harrison, who began this crusade. COVID-19 has certainly changed the world for all of us and not least of uh, those of us in the film industry. But if it has taught us anything, it has taught us how to Zoom. And only because of the Zoom boom was this film produced during lockdown, picking up local masked camera crews around the world where we were filming while James zoomed in from Hollywood and I zoomed in from Australia to direct this production, juggling a lot of time zones along the way. Uh, this short film is just phase one of a five phase strategy to globally ban the trophy hunting of endangered species forever. Phase two is now live and I would urge you all to please visit the humanitarian call of shame.com the website is www.humanitarianhallofshame.com and please upload your photo because every photo adds a voice to our roar and that's the tab you must go to. Add your voice to our roar. We are not a vast body of water in the ocean. We are individual drops and every one of you is those individual drops and together we will create a tsunami to ban this heinous industry. Together, we are going to switch the species on the endangered list to the trophy hunter. Thank you again.